again, this is Deb and welcome back to our course on Access 2019. In the previous module we looked at those different Access templates and we opened up the first contacts list database. So now what I want to talk about in this module is how you can create, save and open databases. So we're starting off back at that home screen. And if you look now underneath recent, you can see that we have our database one dot db, which was that contacts database that we created in the previous module. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click to open that database. And again, as we discussed previously, you will get a welcome screen, which I'm just going to close by clicking on the cross at this moment in time. So now I have this contact management database open and we did give it a rather generic name. We took a default name of database one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this and give it a different name of my choosing. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go down to save as and I'm going to save this just as a regular database. So that's the default option just here with the ACDB extension and I'm going to click save as. Now you'll see what I get here is a little warning message which says all open objects must be closed prior to continuing this operation. So what that actually means is if I just close that down and click the back arrow to go back to my database, I actually have to essentially close down this database in order to save it, which kind of seems a little bit counterintuitive. But I'm going to go all the way over to the right hand side and you'll see just here we have a little cross and as I hover over it says close contact list which will essentially close that database and all the attached objects. I can now go back to file down to save as and click the save as button again and this time it's going to let me save this database in a location of my choosing and I'm going to save this in the course files folder and I'm going to call it contacts zero one. I'm happy with that ACDB file extension and I'm going to click on the save button. Again I'm going to close down the welcome screen and what you'll see is that you will get a security warning at the top here so all you need to do there is just click enable content and I'm going to close down all of Access one more time and I'm going to reopen. So let's click on Access from my taskbar. So this time when we open up Access, you can now see under Recent, I have those two separate databases. So even though they are essentially the same at the moment, we've got two separate file names, two separate databases. And you can see Contact01 has the path name of where that file is actually stored underneath. Now obviously if I wanted to go back in and just start working on that contacts database I can double click to open it. But if I wanted to open a different database I would go to the open button from my menu on the left hand side. And what you can also see in there is my contacts database and my database one that we've created so I can open from there as well. But alternatively, if I have another database stored off, I could choose a location from which to open it. And this will really depend on what services you have access to. So you will be able to uh, browse locally on your PC. And if you are connected to cloud storage, so maybe something like OneDrive, like I am just here, you can go straight in there and open an access database that you have saved to the cloud. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to new and we're going to create a new blank database. So we're essentially going to start from scratch to work on the course database that I'm going to use for most of the demonstrations in this course. So let's click on blank. So again, you can see that this new blank database has a default file name and file location. Now I'm actually going to change this because I want to save this into the course files folder. And I'm going to change the file name at this point as well. And this database that we're going to be creating is essentially for a travel company that runs some rather exclusive tours. And the name of the travel company is Esprit de Tour. So I'm going to change this file name. I'm going to delete out database two and we're going to call it Esprit de Tour. 
And this database is going to go through a few different versions. So let's add 01 on the end just there and click on Create. And there we go, we've created our first new blank database. Now, one thing that you may notice is if you look at the top, you'll see that the file name is very long at the top there. So where it says Esprit de Tour 01, and it then has database, and then a very long path name as to where that database is saved. And that looks a little bit messy there at the top of the screen. Now, we're going to sort that out later on. I'm going to show you how you can make that look a lot neater. Now what you're actually looking at when you open up a blank database is basically a single table. And this is where you create your database. And at the moment it has nothing in it. And we're gonna build on this throughout the course. Now one other thing to show you just before we leave this module is that when I click on File, one option I have there is Close. So let's click on Close. And what you'll see is that it doesn't actually close access, it only closes the current database. So I just wanted to point that out because sometimes that can be a little bit confusing. You're never sure if you're closing the file or if you're going to close access entirely. So in this instance, it closes the current database that you have open, but leaves the access application open. So that's about it for this module. In the next module, we're going to be talking about the access workspace and the backstage